In this video of our little SharePoint tips and tricks, I want to just uh, go through pages with you, explain pages a little bit better and maybe touch base on uh, a bit of the web parts. Again, please be reminded that it doesn't matter which version you're on. Of course, they'll look different. Of course, the button's going to sit in a different place. But we need to learn the basics, not what the version looks like. We need to stop navigating through things and learn to search and figure things out. So I am on SharePoint Online and, um, and it also has pages and it also has web parts. It might have different web parts and the pages might look a bit different. But remember that the concept stays the same. The basic principles still apply. So in SharePoint, I simply cannot do anything if I don't have pages to surface the content. So let's think about a book. A physical book okay with paper pages and um, you need pages in a book to surface content right so if you want to bring in a paragraph of text or a picture you need to put it on a page and SharePoint works exactly the same so everything that you see in SharePoint sits on a page be reminded this is not a super technical uh, um, overview of SharePoint pages I am not gonna talk about CSS or HTML it's not gonna happen okay we're talking about basic principles so everything in SharePoint needs a page to surface content. Now, if I look at this home page of this team site, and remember I shared some others with you as well. This is a communication site template. There's another communication site template. If I look at this page, to edit the page, there's a button on the right-hand side called Edit. You might still click on the drop-down and go Edit, or you might even click on the left-hand side and go Edit Page, okay? So um, don't worry about that. Same thing to edit a page. When I edit a page, I have the ability to add other web parts or add text or add things. So how do I explain SharePoint pages to uh, and, and web parts to my students? If you think of a wall in your house and a wall could have shelves on it, it could have paintings hanging on it, maybe there's some graffiti, maybe your two-year-old has left uh, some Picasso paintings on it somewhere, but you can also have windows in a wall and you can have doors in a wall. So windows um, makes you see things that sits in other places, right? So if you had to look out the window, those are mountains you see or the rivers or the grass or your garden doesn't sit in your room but you actually have a window to that content and that's exactly how web parts work it allows us to see content that sits somewhere else and sometimes you can actually put it right there on the page as well think of paintings think of graffiti so similar concept when i go and edit this page you'll see that it actually um, has different web parts as i hover over it i can actually see the different web parts exactly the same in sharepoint on premise so uh, here as well, if I now on this modern page, if I scroll down, you'll see that there's a little plus section there, which is where I do sections on the pages. Very similar to what we'd have as the web part pages or zones in our pages or page layouts. And then of course, also I can add web parts. So let's just quickly take a look at the different web parts that, uh, that are available. And of course, what you see would be based on your um, release channel as well. So I can add text to this page. I can add an image, which means it sits on the page, right? And then uh, I can view files as well. I can add links to websites. I can embed code from other websites. Highlighted content shows me um, content from my site. So think the old uh, content search or um, search query type web parts. Bing Maps brings a map in, dividers. Um, image Gallery, of course, brings uh, your images through. Document Library and, um, and the List Preview also brings through the content that I use in libraries. So we're very used to that already. Euro web part, of course, is this cool new web part that you see there. Very, very cool web part, one of my favorites. And um, that we've covered. Quick links is uh, those little cute buttons that we can add. So these are quick links, by the way. These are also quick links. Um, they just display differently. Then um, let's have a look. Events, of course, is pulling through your um, calendar. And then, of course, also you can bring in Microsoft Forms now, which is your survey. So you can bring through the results as well as the form itself. People web part, also pretty amazing. Um, if I scroll down, there's my people web part. allows me to hover over them, grab their details, contact them. So that's pretty cool. And um, news, of course, as well. Also very cool in the new communication sites. This is my news web part for news articles that I push out. And then, of course, there's lots of other goodies like Twitter and Yammer and Power BI that you can add. So um, very cool, the web parts. But what a web part is, is that it surfaces content. So think of blocks on a book page um, that brings um, shows you text or images or something. So that's a very, very simple basics of it. I'm going to just publish this page again so that it's not an edit mode. That's the very simple basics of, um, of pages. For example, if I go to Documents you'll see that this opens a page as well. This is a physical page with a web part on it for the document. So not as difficult as you might have thought it was. Let's catch up in the next video clip and uh, I'll go through some more cool stuff in SharePoint with you.